to another episode of the Sunken City. So yeah, welcome aboard, guys. Uh, last episode actually sadly didn't miss much. Uh, except for some of the story, we didn't get too far. In this episode, I am planning on doing the side quest of the letters that are spread across town. We've already had them mapped out thanks to our last episode. We've mapped out all our quests, except for maybe the main story. So we're going to go ahead and plow through them. We're pretty well ammoed up and, know, and now know how to make Melotovs. It seems once you find the resource, you learn how to make it. I'm not too sure if I'm correct about that, but that's what it seems like to be happening. So I found hand grenades and all of a sudden now I can make them. It was pretty much the same for Melotovs. Uh, we did get some knowledge points in the last episode, so we're definitely a little bit more experienced. Hopefully in this episode we're gonna we're gonna see more action. All right. So here I am. This must be it right here. Basement. <laughs> Hi, Dad. The back room's window was broken when I woke from my nap, so I'm gonna go look for Mom. She can't have gone too far yet. I'm sure she'll listen to me when I find her. Sometimes when I take her food to her, she looks at me weird, like she remembers me. Sometimes she even reaches out, though the slot and t tries to grab my hand. Ugh. Don't know why I was butchering that in my head. But I do what you said and stand behind the white line and push the tray with the stick. And then she cries. I really hope she'll get better soon. Don't worry, Dad. I'll find her and bring her home. Love you, Rachel. Interesting. So there was something wrong with the mother. This house is like exactly designed like the one in Old Queen. Let's 
so I killed that for no reason at all. That's disappointing. Those things are terrifying. I, I don't care what anyone says. Those things are definitely terrifying. Well, that gave me quite a lot back. That's a med, so let's heal up. So I'm pretty sure... Yep, this one is done. Next is going to be that one. As we go around the town. wonder how much of this is real though. Like these poor people are definitely turning into monsters. Uh, there's no sugar coat in that, but Hey, 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 hey. 
No. Let's go upstairs first. There's nothing down here. Not the place. I don't think this is because there's just nothing in here.
But yet, that's the only building you can enter. Alright, what's the say? Northern Grimhaven Bay at the corner of Hubert. And Whisper Street. Well, I see why I thought it would be there for sure. Uber Ave. I hate when I can't find something. doesn't seem to be any symbols. Hmm. 
All right, what's this one? Innsmouther's note. The local Innsmouthers scare me a lot. I've never seen a place with so many ill people. Their faces pursue me even in visions. Recently, I was in the northern part of Grimhaven Bay, walking down Whisper Street. I barely made it to Hubert Avenue when the visions came. I stood among many Innsmouthers, uh, disguised as one of them and listened. Their leader r read the story of a captain participating in pagan rites, copulating with savage witches and beasts, bringing sacrifices. I still remember his name, Obed. So maybe this isn't in a building. Maybe this is out yeah. in the yeah. public? Yeah. <laughs> So, cause he said he walked from Whisper Street, and he made it all the way to Hubert, which should take him up across, maybe? I mean, maybe? I don't know, actually. I can't, don't really see anything. I might have to come back to this one. Oh, well, yeah, I'll come back to that one. So next is the Lone Child. Yep, the Lone Child. Damn, so we'll go come. that way. Definitely don't want to waste too much time on that. If I'm not going to be able to figure it out right off the bat. Because if the note is in the streets, I might actually have to kill quite a bit. Those wild beasts. This is definitely not that warehouse.
St. Elmo Lane and Kingsport. There's a dock right there. This definitely has to be it. <laughs> they definitely reuse a lot of their mapping for these houses. I do not know W here, mommy and daddy went, mommy kissed me on the forehead and handed me Mr. Teddy and left so many days ago. I am LB myself and Mr. Ted die and I are so cold and wet. If you have blankies, I would be so happy if you are a nice people and you find this no to I live in a brown house with lots of flowers but they are wet and sad now my name is Timmy if you help me we can be the very best friends just please no more monsters I am all red and sticky poor kid Poor, poor, poor kid. Alright, so next one we'll be ourselves around. Or map ourselves around. Loop ourselves around to get all this. Leaving the last one, this headache. Which I'm hoping I don't have to look up. I prefer not to do that, but. Yay! Definitely do all mind. And then... I would say Vigor seems to be the next important one to do. Because of the, the bullet info. 
Master Survivalist, additional 10% chance to save materials when crafting. Sweet. Because uh, this, the, the mind, actually I need to get... I need to get it fast, because, damn. Or we having issues with breaking down. I didn't think it would be for how the game started, but it's a little bit too aggressive for my liking. Whoop. So we also might switch it to the quest Thorn Burton gave me here as well. Just so that way we're doing more than just these letters, just a little bit. Southern Old Grove, Warwick Street, between Seaside Street and Hillside Street. Cap on ammo. Wow. Oh, they are definitely upstairs, jeez.
Damn, I hate those things. Definitely glad I got the increased XP. Definitely proved to be very useful. Extraordinary, incredible, fabulous, I was right. I told them we weren't alone, that the ocean was talking to me, and now that it's flooding in, the ocean brings them with him. All these buffoons who would laugh behind my back, they now fear these wonders. At the sight of these magnificent specimens, they run in all directions, screaming. They do not realize the incredible chance they have to admire them, to contemplate their splendor. What do you want? I need to get closer to these creatures. Closer, always closer. I will finally be recognized for my talent. One of these creatures might even carry my name. I will be praised by all the universities. They can't ignore me now. They'll stop thinking I'm mad. Oh joy, oh joy, what pleasure. Come see me. I await your arrival. I will take good care of you. So he wanted to become a creature. That's kind of disturbing. That is definitely disturbing, actually. Because, uh, it seems like a lot of people are almost, like, seduced into coming. Let's see if I can craft anything real quick. That, that... Looks like I'm just missing 
a few key ingredients for making a bomb, but and a Meltoff? Or not, I'm actually pretty squared away. Alright, so what I was going to do before we left this area is we were going to take care of the delicate matter. As you can see, it's up in the same area, so let's go do that real quick. This is the Job Thor Mountain. Ugh butchered that, but job he gave us to look for a painting and figure out what happened to it, so. And there is a fast travel symbol. Don't mind if I do. right there. a 40-year-old newspaper article. Francis Throgmorton, the city's darling scholar and adventurer, is once again an eligible bachelor. Further text unreadable. Letter to Mr. Thorgmorton. Mr. Thorgmorton, it is with the deepest regret that I must inform you that the price for the piece you have requested has changed once again. The demand for it has increased and now it is triple that which we agreed earlier. I know this is the second time that I have raised the price, but the extreme circumstances of the flood make each piece almost invaluable to me, as I cannot replenish my collection. Herbert Glover. The little spider things are annoying. Definitely glad I upped the XP because those guys would be especially annoying since you don't get a lot out of them. That's another thing.
eyes still wide open. Guess he didn't see the killing blow coming. Is definitely a collector, though. <sighs> Only slight scratches around the keyhole. Whoever broke in knew how to pick a lock. Huh. That's a lot of warning shots. I'll find out why the old ape wants you so bad. Yeah, you like what you see, buddy? What's that? Looks like they're short a full set. One of the mirrors was taken. Squint, run! Oh, God! Kay, I have killed him. Easiest gig in this district. You grab the mirror. I'm gonna go see what other loot we can take from Mr. Moneybags here. Who are you? What in K's name are you doing in my house? Okay, let's see what we have here. So... Squint, one, run! Two. Easiest gig in this desert. Who are you? What in K's name are you doing in my house? Who are you? One. What in K's name are you Two. doing in my house? Squint, run! Easiest gig in this district. You grab the mirror. I'm gonna go see what other loot we can take from Mr. Moneybags here. Easiest gig in this district. Who are you? What in K's name are you- Squint, run! Oh! Oh, Kay! I... have killed him! Two men broke in to steal a mirror. One of them, Squint, cracked the safe. But Glover discovered him and shot him. Second one killed Glover. Eyes still wide open. Guess he didn't see the killing blow coming. Yeah, all evidence collected. So, two men broke into Herbert Glover's house in Old Grove to steal a specific mirror. One of them, an experienced thief nicknamed Squint, proceeded to crack a safe, alerted the owner, and got a bullet. The second burglar killed the owner with a knife. Squint mentioned that this is not the his first robbery in the district of Old Grove. So we could check the hospital or we could check the n archives and the news. that do? Oh, unlock the door. The door won't budge. Nice. 
this. That's kind of cool little puzzle. All right, so we're done with that. I think. Oh no, we could go to the Oakmont Police Department for this one because if they're robbers, they've done it before. That'd be where we want to go. So we'll go check that out. Uh, and then we can check over there as well for the letter. So I've definitely done a little bit more in this episode. Definitely happier. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to progress in the main story today. We, only, we did a bit in the last episode, but I don't think we're going to be progressing much. Side quests are quite long. Extra, extra, all the news... So it was Old Church Road, Tanner Street. I don't think it's back there. <sighs> uh, it could be in here. Come <laughs> on. 
I don't think it's back here. I'm just getting my ass whooped. I'm not even trying back here. Switch it over to the letters from Oakmont. I think this thing dies. God, this fishbowl effect is wigging me out. Yeah, don't die. recipe was left to me by my grandmother, and when Lily was little, I used it quite often. A couple of drops in her milk, and she slept sweetly all night. My husband and I finally had a little time for each other. Of course, that was long ago, and since then I haven't needed Grandma's sleeping elixir. But now everything's changed. It was two days ago that Bill barricaded the windows because we could not bear to see the corpses on the street. We're locked in and we're out of food. The 
Worst are the nightmares. Impossible to sleep because of the squeals of death and other terrible sounds. We should flee, but there's no place to go. I'm afraid as fate draws near that we'll end up like the bakers. I do not want this for my little Lily. While my husband barred the entrance, I made my grandmother's tea. Lily drank her dose and went to bed, and Bill's getting faint, too. It's time for me to join them. Good night, Oakmont. So yo, deed. One second, guys. Alright, I'm back. Damn. So yeah, they did. So did their daughter turn into that monster that's downstairs that won't die? So that is messed. Messed up. Okay, so we did that. So let's queue back over to the delicate matter. And we'll go to the police station and see if we can solve the mystery. Yeah, yeah, right, I have it queued. So I can follow the map. Do I have that? Yeah, I have that. I need something that increases my health. I feel like my health is not enough. One sec, I need to change my daughter, so be right back. Sorry about that, wait. Hello, officer. Well, case of Albert Throgmorton, Captain Caleb Lyons at your service. What can we simpletons do to assist you, Mr. Holmes? Do you and I have a problem, officer? No, no. Aside from making everyone in the Oakmont Police Department look like idiots, let me be frank, newcomer. You ain't welcome. You slip up, don't cross a T or dot an I, and I'll treat you like every other criminal here. Okay. Well, can I use the police archive in the meantime? You can, but only because of Mr. Throgmorton's patronage. And heed me well, you're on mighty thin ice, and I'll be under it when it breaks. Don't waste my time, newcomer. Ah. <sighs> uh. And, um, all right, so
All right, so crimes. Squint proceeded to crack. Squint mentioned that this is not his first robbery. Uh, violent crimes, property crimes, for sure. Subjects. Evidence, instruments of crime, documentation, impounds, criminal patterns, district, uh, old grove. Subjects, suspects. There we go. Squint's police file. Name Philip O'Connell, alias Squint. Sex male, 46, residence unknown. Crimes, numerous burglaries, and old grove breaking and entering tax evasion. Possible, possible associates named Sidney Stokes, none, male, 21. That's a crappy male name, Sidney. <laughs> Residence, uh, Oakmont, Mass, Northern Salvation Harbor, west of the intersection of Moreland Road and Salvation Road. Crimes, jaywalking, lollygagging, <laughs> lollygagging, jerry duty, dodging, wow, this, you go from a burglary to, like, just being lazy. <laughs> Ooh, lolly gagging and cherry duty dodging. That's just comical. All right. So, Squint's police file Northern Salvation Harbor. Over here. Uh, west of the intersection of Moreland Road, which is right there, and Salvation Road. So it is right in there. Which, look at that. We got a fast travel. actually perfect. Let's go finish this quest line up. I can figure out how to leave. There we go. For a police station, that is an awfully cramped police station. Not sure if I'm gonna be able to complete all the letters in this episode. I was kind of hoping I would, just to get that gigantic side quest out of the way. But all right, here we are. We should be right next to it, right? Probably it right there. from the morgue. Mr. Stokes, the price for a separate burial for your mother, Martha Stork, Stokes, is 30 bullets. The morgue cannot give you a discount. There are more requests for burials than we have resources or manpower to satisfy. 
you must make the payment in two weeks or we will have to enter your mother in a mass grave. Oh, that's... That's depressing uh, as shit. I'm happy to say I've never been hungry enough to consider eating whatever this is. to say I've never been hungry enough to consider eating whatever this is. Rest in peace. Hmm. Bullets. No honor among thieves. That must have been for bullets, huh? But, uh, thank you for the follow. I didn't catch the name. I was kind of distracted. Do, 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 do. Okay, so just upstairs. <sighs> Looks like Squint was having a bad day. Survived getting shot just to be stabbed to death. But who did it? Long last, I'll fix what that old ape lover Francis did to you. Ah, get away from the. Oh, thank the gods. I thought you were another monster. Sidney Stokes, I presume. Aye, aye, aye that's right, right. Do I, do I know you? Don't think so. I'm here about Herbert Glover. I believe you know him. Or, should I say, knew him. Uh, okay. Nice trick with the wall. How'd you manage it? It wasn't me. She put the wall there with some kind of hocus pocus. You said she put the wall here. Who is she? She she she's our employer. I don't know her name or anything. She she promised us a good payout for a simple job. And I fell for it like a chump. What did she hire you to do? Uh, the job seemed simple enough. Go to the collector's house, grab some fancy mirror, and then Hoof it out of there. So where's this fancy mirror now? She took it. When me and Phil met her with the goods, they, they got into a big blowout and she shivved him. Okay, what am I to do now? Phil was the idea guy. I, I was... I'm just a sap. Come on, paint me a picture. What did this woman look like? She was tall and thin. Very thin. Just skin and bones. Mean like a rattlesnake. Uh, that's all I can remember. I, I didn't look too close at her. Were you hired to kill the collector too? Or was that just for laughs? I, I, I swear to Kay, I, it wasn't part of the plan. It was an accident. The guy started shooting at us and I panicked. 
You panicked. Really. That's your excuse. Oh, please, ASK is my witness. I didn't mean to kill anyone. I'll give you everything I have. Just, just let me walk. Why would we let... Well, you've had quite a night. Break-in, theft, and manslaughter. I'm gonna have to report this. Uh, please! I, I'll, uh, I'll get the char for this! You should have thought of that before you killed a man. What, what do you want? What do you want? Oh, Ma. I killed him. What have I done? What in the world have I done? There we go, all evidence. Yeah, I don't know why you would spare him. He's definitely guilty. Alright, so... Did that. Sydney Stokes, along with Phil Squint O'Connell, were hired by a strange woman to steal a specific mirror from Herbert Glover. Stokes accidentally killed Herbert during the robbery. They later met with the woman at Cindy's place where she killed Phil, took the mirror, and locked Cindy inside. Cindy couldn't remember her in much detail except that she was thin, old, and had a bad temper. She returned to Mr. Thorgmorton to tell him what I found. Okay. So we're not hunting her anymore, we're going to Mr. Thor Martin. That is good to know. Because that quest is done and there is a fast travel point. Let's go ahead and go finish it. Get it off our list. Yeah, I don't know why you would spare him. Because uh, uh, they had the ability to run. For sure. He didn't have to stalk around the corner and stab him to guarantee their safety. So regardless of how you'd want to spin that, I mean, he deliberately killed him. When there could have been other options, I'm sure. I've looked into your delicate matter. Excellent. Don't spare me any details. Glover's dead. He was killed by a man named Sidney Stokes, who happened to be robbing his place. He wasn't working alone. He had a partner, Phil O'Connell. Didn't end up much better. All over uh, some kind of mirror, apparently. Truck. Where is a mirror now? Their employer has it. Uh, some mystery woman. I didn't get her name, but she obviously wasn't fooling around. I see. So, my enigmatic competitor has finally shown her hand. And the thieves are both dead, you say? Sidney Stokes managed to make it out in one piece. Now, if I had to guess, he's probably holed up at his home. Want the address? I would welcome it. I'll take pleasure in, uh educating him on some, uh, shall we say, essential truths. All right, I've held up my end of the bargain. Now, it's your turn. Of course, Mr. Reed. Here's your payment. Now that you know everything, 
Would you accept the second part of the job? Let me guess. You want me to track down the mirror? Yes. And the one who so rudely snatched it from my grasp. I'm on it. Only got one lead, though. Our culprit had a bone to pick with someone named Francis. Mean anything to you? Ah, yes. That is without doubt my father, Francis Throgmorton. K rest his soul. And what's he got to do with this? I found mention of the mirror in his records. That's what led me to take interest. Your father was a prominent man. I'm sure he had enemies. Anyone come to mind? None who would outlive him. You mentioned your father left records. Mind if I take a gander at them? The prospect of you rifling through my father's possessions does not fill me with joy, Mr. Reed. But if that's what you need, so be it. Take this key. I'm not in the mood for chit-chat, Mr. Reed. So we do get to find the lady. That's exciting. So there's a downstairs and upstairs start down. Check shit down here. And I'll go up. Jeez, this guy lives in luxury. But at the same time, I kind of want the setup over, you know. Water everywhere. Seems an ambitious expedition. Eh? Like father, like son. Huh, curious craftsmanship. These must be worth a fortune. I'm looking sharp, but I guess that's the point. <laughs> Eighteen ninety one must have been a busy year for Francis. Exclusive interview Francis Thorngmorton's expedition to Africa has proven to be one of the most ambitious, if sadly unappreciated, undertakings of eighteen ninety one. He has returned with numerous historical artifacts and valuable anthropological research a newborn son christened robert and a plethora of fascinating cultural insights today is an exclusive interview with the oakmont chronicle he has agreed to share some of those insights with us definitely a man of wonders huh Now, that kid looks a little familiar. Private correspondence. Uh, Francis, divorce is no simple matter these days. It never has been in my legal practice. You must clearly define the fault. You shall present to the courts the most common option being cruelty, adultery, or incredible mental illness. It is my impression that your firstborn's death at the tender age of seven dealt a blow to Bethany's health. I do sincerely hope she recovers, but the court won't share my concerns. 
Besides, Oakmont Asylum seems to be a very well-run place. Regards. Chansey? Hmm. say all evidence. What am I missing? Huh, curious craftsmanship. These must be worth a fortune. Right? Yeah, there's nothing else in here. some questions about Bethany. I beg your pardon? I don't believe I know anyone of that name. Well, it came up during the investigation. See, your father divorced, and his ex-wife's name was Bethany. Say no more. It is beyond my earliest memories. But, even if it weren't, my father's business is his own. I shall not engage in gossip. Your father led an expedition back in 1891. Do you know anything about it? I'm not the best person to ask, I'm afraid. I was a babe in arms back then, and my father never made his findings public. It is a great shame, of course. His work would have turned the science of evolution on its head. Yeah, I can see that. Have a good day. Okay. So I just had to talk to him. I'm fine with that. So we're going to the asylum, right? Yep, we're going to the asylum. And we got more skill. Woo! So, no charity, gain 50% chance to double quest. Eh, we'll go for that all the way. Then we'll do that, and we'll be done with mind, and then we'll start with vigor. The combat proficiency? I mean, they're definitely going to be nice, but I don't feel like I really need them yet. So Asylum is off over there. But we've started that. I'm going to actually go back. And we're going to keep doing the letters. Since we only have a few more, I don't really want to skip pace with them. Doesn't look like I have any fast travels to that area. Let's go get that one though, because we can wrap around and do all those. And there's no waterways. So this one's straight straight run. Yeah, it's the sad truth that divorce used to be almost impossible back in the day. It used to be ridiculous. Nowadays, I feel like it's too common. Like, my parents 
are divorced. My wife's parents are now freshly getting divorced. I just think it's way too common. Like, it's either people give up on each other too easily, or they just don't try to fix things or something. I know for my parents' sake, it's it's kind of dumb. I love my dad, but a lot of the stuff he did is uh, unacceptable in my eyes. And I'm sure to a lot of eyes if they knew the situation, and I really don't want to get into it, but I mean, he's happy now with the woman he's with, and I would want to believe my mom's happier with the dude he's with, or she's with, but It's definitely dumb. And then my wife's parents. It's just sad. On their condition of like why they're getting divorced. It makes sense. So unfortunately, I mean, if you have a partner that just doesn't try anymore. And has already given up and moved on. And not in the sense of moving on to someone else. Just like moved on and is satisfied with the way their life was it's it's hard I can imagine so it made sense but yeah it's unfortunate it's definitely too common nowadays too common in a time that I think it shouldn't be as common there it is but yeah, think back in the day, you actually had a, had a valid reason for divorcing. It was crazy. Crazy to think that's how it was back in the day. you go, big boy? Did I really kill you? I just didn't see the XP go off, so I didn't think I killed him, but sure appears like I did. No, he's right there. There we go. Down for a count, I still have ammo to go. Really hate those guys. see though how the gunslinger would be better like if you were to go into it because you'd probably kill things like way easier than what I happen
because I will admit that I'm not killing things with ease. The little dudes, yes, but... There's the letter. Uh, my name is... Well, I am uncertain. It is lost in the static. I do not know anything. I have lost it all. My mind is little but static. Inter uh, interpressed with bits from the radio serial. That was my life. No, not my life. My existence. I hear names. Margaret. Jonathan. Albert. One sec. I hear dates, places, June 7, 1912. At a church on a hill. It is these bits that I live for. It is the static that I will end my life for. Every day, for as long as I can remember, the static has gone louder. I have sunk deeper as the voices grow quieter. They are being replaced. I am losing what little I have left. A new voice, unintelligible, yet one I understand more clearly than any radio program in my head. I fear for what I will become, what I can no longer hold on. I'm choosing to go before the static or the voice within it becomes me. Goodbye, Omat. I have sunk even further than you. Well, that is depressing. So with that, that will be that note. And then we can come around and grab this one. Moo, yeah, ammo. There's a basement to this place? Jeez. Seems to be it. Off we go. To the next. And there's the fast travel emblem. Definitely gonna pick up the fast travel over here. Advent North. Awesome. Of course, didn't pick up any over here, but that's fine. Definitely gonna be inclined to grab because we don't have one for over here. And the library is over here. Actually, I think it's right in front of the library. No, this is city hall library is down there. Still though, be nice when we need to be over here. Can just fast travel. I honestly think that's what this quest is mainly for, is to get you around the town so that way you unlock a lot of the fast travels. 
That just seems to be the case. Lend your support to Milton Pierce. The mayor Oakmont I could definitely be wrong, but like I feel I've explored more of the map because of the side quest. There it is. Ooh, this one has a different symbol. That's probably the fastest I've ever put one of those things down. <laughs> Definitely do not mind though. So things suck. Okay, there's nothing down here. Upstairs we go. There's this next note. My dear Clara. It has been years since we last saw each other, and I still can't sleep without looking at the picture you sent me of your family. I wish I had something to show, but pictures of this place would only bring you nightmares. What was I thinking when I left our hometown? I fear that I might be losing my sanity. You remember Dumhunt, my neighbor? That works at the docks i mentioned him in previous letters he was always a good friend but i don't know what happened he started screaming in the middle of the night chanting about lost cities and saying strange words i was never a religious man but i don't know how to explain his condition through science i see strange things each time i look out the window and I don't know if they are really there, or if it's just my mind playing with the mist. Somehow, the mad words of my friend start to make more sense each time I look at those wild and incomprehensible shapes. I'll return home as soon as your beloved brother, Victor. Well, hopefully he got home. <laughs> I don't think he did, though. Don't think he did. What I've noticed is those big dudes have been in almost each house we've gone to. It's kind of frustrating because those things eat up a lot of ammo. 
I'd almost rather not deal with them. That same point, I think they were purposely developed to be that way. This game definitely will never have enough ammo. Any more shells, huh? Looks like it used to be a clinic. Whatever this place used to be. This is like a nice little balcony. That's cool. And for once, no enemies. I'm digging this. Although I may have spoke too soon. Creepy. Ew, it's on top of the body. I don't like that. <laughs> Alright. My dearest comfort, if my scrawl is a is an eligible ugh, that's what that word. Scribble. Forgive me. The shock of what I have discovered from the poor young woman's womb has affected my nerves. Her guttural screams guttural screams still ring in my ears and her birth tragedy lurks near where I hide had my attendant not been attacked first I would have certainly shared her fate the wrangling abomination that erupted from the waif's belly left from her body and attached itself to the nurse's throat with a wet smacking sound pulled behind it, the taunt ubiquitical cord tore out the placenta in an eruption of bright blood that soaked my gown. Stunned, I looked into the mother's bulging eyes as she convulsed and bit off her tongue before clenched, grinding teeth. Jeez. 
Falling backwards in horror, I crawled behind a medical cabinet in the operating theater. I can now hear the slushing movement of the afterbirth sliding across the floor as the terrible infant sl silently approaches. I write this account on my surgical mask with the sturdy pen you gifted me last year near the Oakmont Commons. May it now serve faithfully as my only weapon against the deformed babe. Sincere. Thanks, Sebastian. Oh, besides me butchering that with some of the wordplay, man, that's... It's probably one of the most well-read notes that I've run into. Hi. I swear I keep hearing shit. I don't like it. <laughs> place is too creepy for its own good. Alright, that one. And then that one. And we're back to the one that we couldn't figure out. But that will be the last note. Let's get the hell out of here. I can hear something moving around. Oh man, there's bloody handprints. Ugh. Oh, a little backyard area, I didn't know about this. Ugh. Creepy. That place is actually creepy. I'm kind of glad they didn't put a monster in there because it made it feel even, uh, it gave it an eerie environment without a monster being in there. Um, find something you like. Cheaper than the Alright. Another infested area. Hate to be the mayor of this city. There's fast travel down here. Be right back. Go ahead and get that fast travel unlocked. There we go. That is a nice little teleport spot too. Like it. That's ominous. Just has ammo waiting for me for my best gun. Basement. Uh, let's see if I can craft anything. Nope. Definitely craft ammo, though. Go ahead and do that up. Yay, shells. God, it's one of those big boys. Definitely above me.
All right. Oh, Mr. Bigley, the pipes, the pipes are calling. I think you will recall that I have expressed concern about the drains in my bathroom. Numerous times over the last month, obviously rattles, clanks, and gurgles are off no concern to you as you are yet to make a single visit despite your assurances. But what about the voices, Mr. Bigley? Will they be enough to get your wrench in hand? Well, it's too late. No amount of tinkering or nut tightening can take back the offer they've made. How can I refuse? They say all I have to do is come down and join them. They've shown me a way. I don't like or understand it, but they say they've done it before. Many times. I just need a sharp knife. I will join them piece by piece, and when I'm all gone up here, I'll be whole again down there. Whole and glorious. I am nervous, but they have assured me that said you assured me too. No, I have no choice. They have offered immortality ecstasy and secrets unbound but best of all mr bigley the pipes are silent down there i have been assured wow these notes are definitely twisted so she got provoked to go into the waters and sacrifice herself to basically be food, is what I can understand. Okay, yeah, that one, they all got stuck on the door. Definitely interesting that a lot of the stories is an irritation of some sort that they hear every night, and then before they know it, it's like they're seduced with an offer because they're so irritated they think that might be a good offer but it just isn't <laughs> definitely messed up though all right so last one well second to last almost completely did the side quest definitely took quite a bit but we're getting there Yeah, I would hate to be in this town. Just from reading these notes, I mean, there's definitely dozens of people dying to these things. It's not good. I, I would, I would pack my shit, and I would freaking rob a ship and get the hell out. I wouldn't waste any, any time. It's just too dangerous. Just reading these notes, I'm like, I don't want to be here. <laughs> Probably people are dying. It's bad.
probably in the monster infested hell zone. right here actually. Got me in a corner. And we're definitely at the end of our episode. Holy crap. So yeah, I didn't finish all notes, but we only have two notes left. That is a good thing. So we'll actually be really close to finally finishing this side quest. I... I would say after doing most of them, I enjoy it. The The notes are actually really well written, besides my crappy reading and speech abilities. So I, I definitely liked them at first. I was like, oh god, this is going to be a lot of running around, but definitely intriguing. Definitely am liking the the lore content behind them. Ugh. Where did it poop me out at? Wait, what? Oh, I see. Yep, Western Advent. Purity Road in Oak Street. You know, it could actually be in there. Let me let me double check that. I mean, that was definitely a place. Don't know if it was the place that we needed. Got this game. Definitely needs a update of some sort. Oh no, this is it right here. Okay, we're gonna do it real quick. Now I'm at the end of my episode, but I would really like to get this done.
had the fishbowl effect is a nice touch in this game, but god, it screws me up. the snow the man in the mirror he's gone ever since this infernal flood began I kept seeing him in the mirror the man who stole my reflection he wore my skin like a suit but there was nothing human beneath it he knew I was on the other side and was looking straight at me I covered every mirror in my house but in vain I could still see him in the window. Pains in every puddle, even in other people's eyes. The neighbors started to look at me strangely. I couldn't sleep. I saw him, his face in nightmares, and when I woke up, I heard whispers coming from the looking glass. But now he's gone. I uncovered the mirror to smash it to pieces, and he's gone. There's nothing in the reflection at all, but I feel like I'm not alone. Ugh. Probably because you're not. You are definitely not alone. Kept on bullets again. Or bullet shells, I mean. Eh, I like grenades more. Let's get those grenades going. So with that, we're done with that. So yeah, our last one is this little stinker that we had an issue with. Not bad. Definitely not bad. And then we did most of Thorg Martin's side quest. We just need to go to to his place now, but yeah, not bad. So we have that one last one to do. Look through the weird notes he found in his room of disappeared newcomers. So yeah, we have only that one to do, which we'll have to do in our next episode. Other than that, we have field research and through the looking glass, which is at the asylum, and then back to the main story, which is definitely going to be exciting. And then we're doing pretty, pretty awesome on this. Uh, can't wait to get to the vigor stuff. Yeah. 
It's gonna be nice. But yeah, Blades, this will be the end of this episode. Next episode will be Fade to Silence. Uh, I gotta push that one. I started it and kind of got sidetracked, can't lie. So yeah, we're gonna get into that one as much as I'd rather play The Sinking City. We're gonna pick that back up and then push that as hard as possible. Other than that, I will see you guys in the next episode. Hope you enjoyed.